Hey you guys, it's Dees. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, I made a top 10 list um, of um, other people who aren't um, necessarily awakened or Mandela affected and what their, uh, the top 10 misconceptions that they have about people like us who are affected and experience the um, multiple experiencings. But um, okay, so I guess we'll start from here. Um, I just, uh, I've been filming outside more just because um, uh, I, I'm like, I hermitize all the time, like I'm like the, the queen of hermitizing, I do it constantly. But once again, welcome back to my channel, if, uh, if you're watching this, I love you for doing so. And um, we, will be, we, will be, we, will, we will begin with uh, number one, that, uh, the point that I wanted to make. Uh, number one is probably the most um, obvious one, that people think we're nuts uh, slash cuckoo, and I put that uh, in, in quotes. Um, just because uh, the people who can't accept it, um, there's some people that um, you know are uh, man and or man or woman enough to you know just um, admit that it's okay that we have differences and we don't share all the same opinions. Um, number two is that we invent um, effects, Mandela effects, and multiple experiences. Um, I just uh, I gave the I gave it took me about an hour to make the top ten list, but. Every one of these points like really rang true to me, so um, I just um, I put in uh, in parentheses um, uh, like what good would that do, and and that's pretty much all I can say about that. Like why would we do that? Why would we why would we put ourselves out there and um, with and run the risk of our family and friends, um, you know, disowning us and thinking that we're um, that we're that we're crazy or that um, you know we're misguided and that's just not the case at all. And um, <laughs> number three is that uh, we're easily uh, swayed slash persuaded. And that one pretty much speaks for itself. And um, <clears throat> I just know that I've gotten comments before on some of my channels and I'm not going to name names or um, anything specific, but I'll paraphrase a little bit and summarize a few of the different comments regarding this, uh, regarding uh, num uh, number three. Um, just, uh, you know, people saying that we don't have a mind of our own, that we can't think for ourselves, things of that nature, really. Um, Number four is that we enjoy the attention. I also put that in um, in quotes, and um, I can't really speak for anybody but myself. Like like I say in all, all my videos, this is just my this is my opinion. This is my take on it. And this is um, and these are the conclusions that I, that I'm drawing. Um, but um, I don't enjoy I don't enjoy the attention. I enjoy um, the friendships, uh, the lifelong friendships that I've made uh, with my ME mates. Um, and I, um, I enjoy uh, putting my story out there uh, and getting the positive feedback that I do, not only from my hangout chats, my hangouts chat, my hangout chat friend, my hangout chat friends, hang my my hangout chat friends. God, I've, it's, it's a, was that a glitch? I don't even know. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, there's that. I, I don't enjoy the attention. There's uh, that's not what it's about. Um, if uh, is that what it's about for you guys? Because if so, I don't really think that's necessarily. Um, the right, uh, that's not the right mindset, and that's not the right frame of mind to go into this, this sort of thing with, especially if you're making, um, you know, uh, regular, regular content regarding, uh, MEs. But, um, number five is that we're taking it, um, and I put parentheses again, I mean, um, uh, quote, quotation marks again, around, it, around, um, seriously, because, um, that one is, uh, that, uh, I don't even know if that's a misconception because, I mean, I take it seriously, but then again, I don't, I don't let it define me, and I don't take it too seriously, you know, if that makes sense. Um, number six is that we're so involved, uh, you know, in, in the ME uh, stuff, uh, Mandela Effect stuff, um, and uh, the, the being, a, being an ME YouTuber uh, stuff I, is what, I'm, is what, uh, is what I'm, I think these people are referring to. Um, but uh, we're so involved um, because we're, uh, in quotes, losers, uh, but have friends now within the ME community, as if, um, you know, we didn't have friends before, or friends and family beforehand, you know, like, yes, like, I value the friendships that I've made um, along the way, along my YouTube and uh, Google Hangouts journey, but um, it's, uh, that, that's just, like, a big insult to assume that, like, we're all just, like, reaching for friendships and uh, we don't have the ability to, to make friends, um, on our own, just in our daily life, but, uh, you know, I'm sure, I'm, I can only speak for myself, but um, I have uh, 
so many friends that like I don't I don't discuss the effect with just for the for the sake of not ruining the friendship because I've I've attempted it before with a handful of friends and it ruined the friendships because they're not aware and they're not awakened. Um, but that one really that was a, that was a big insult to me to use the term loser and so I wanted to point that one out. But um, number seven is that we have nothing better to do with our time. <laughs> and um, I don't have any children or anything like that, but it's like I have a fiance that I've had for se over seven years now, um, and I have uh, a cat and a dog that are both over 10 years old. So, you know, um, I, I do have uh, better things to do with my time. You know, um, m my family is very small. It's my two pets and um, my immediate family and my fiance, but, you know, I, sp I spend so much time with them. and. Um, I, and it's not that I, that I don't love making content for you guys because I do, but that's not my entire life. And um, I, I do uh, enjoy the, the time that I spend with um, Harley and Ruby. Um, Harley's my dog. He's a blue fawn chihuahua. And Ruby is my beautiful calico cat that I've had since I was 15 years old. Um, so, yeah, I would much rather spend time with them than make content. Not necessarily like um, that I don't enjoy uh, the connections that I've made and everything within the ME community. It's just, um, of course, I want to spend, you know, of course I'm going to... Uh, have a better time, you know, spending time with the, the loves of my life. Uh, that, that one kind of threw me for a loop as well. Number eight is that um, we are uneducated and should realize it's it's just a misremembering. And I put pretty much all of that in quotation marks. Um, because I think that's the biggest insult of all to any of us that are experiencing this and any of us that um, have physical proof of it, like myself, like I know that something is happening in time shifts and time travel and something's happening with CERN, I'm not sure, but I, it's just such an insult because to say that it's a misremembering, whenever there's residue, there's, resi there's residual proof for so much. And that's all I'm going to really say about that one, because that one is the most infuriating to me. That one really upsets me and insults me as a human being as well as a multiple experiencing, as, as a person that experiences multiple experiencing. I guess, I, I, guess you could put, I guess that way it sounds better. Um, more grammatically correct, <laughs> coming from an English major. Uh, this is why I don't edit though, because it's like, it's so much more authentic. Like, I hate whenever it's like, you can tell they edited a video like 20 different times, and it's like, I want to see them as themselves. Like, I don't want to see an edited, and, and I don't want to see an edit, edited version of you. I just don't. Um, okay, number nine is that we should be embarrassed as a community, and our friends uh, slash families uh, should be ashamed of us. And I put all of, pretty much all of that in quotes as well. And... That one um, really just kind of makes me laugh that that's actually the um, the ninth point that I came to and that I've actually I've discussed this with people and they've told me that they uh, two friends that I've had since high school that I no longer speak with um, ones that are some are one are, are a couple of the handful of people I, I was referring to earlier that um, I no longer have a relationship with because I I, I I exposed them to the effect and they were not aware of it and they were not having it and they uh, ghosted me and disappeared and. You know, more power to them. You know, everybody um, experiences uh, their realities differently, and you know that's okay. But um, uh, I am by no means embarrassed about anything. Um, I've discussed it with my mother, and she also remembers Berenstein Bears. She remembers Maryland, Maryland's mole, where where it actually is, and always has been in my reality. She remembers um, the lyrics to the Mamas and the Papas song. Uh, you know. Um, the, it, it changed from uh, I, I begin to pray, I get down on my knees and I begin to pray to I get down on my knees and pretend to pray. She remembers that one. So my family's not embarrassed of, uh, of me at all, and no long and and um, not only that, they're by, by no means ashamed of me. Yes, I'm not perfect, and I have been arrested, and I and I'm an addict, and I've been in and out of rehab um, before I have, and they're they're not necessarily proud of that, but they're. <laughs> They're sh sh sure as fucking hell not ashamed or embarrassed of me for it. Um, so yeah, that one just kind of made me laugh, but I wanted to I wanted to make a point of it for you guys. Um, and last but not least, uh, number ten is that we no longer have uh, in, in quotes lives or uh, the flash is blinding me. Oh, and that the and that the Mandela effect rules our lives now, and, and it's all in quotes once again. Um. I just know that there's so many people in the community that have children and um, have families and uh, you know don't just have like a couple pets and um, a fiance they live with and some people in the community 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 just live by themselves and um, that's an insult on a lot of different levels uh, and um, do I let the Mandela effect define me? Absolutely, sometimes. Uh, 
but not to the point, not to the degree that, that these commenters and viewers have um, have insinuated and implied, if that makes sense. And um, it by no means rules my life. There, are, like you know, that's why I tend to I tend to disappear sometimes. I disappear because um, it doesn't define my life. And there's days that I don't I, I don't have experiences. I still notice the anatomical ones that happen and sh that shift daily um, upon you know uh, on my own physical body and my own physical anatomy. But um, it doesn't rule my life, and um, uh, I, I still have a life um, it, 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 that we no longer have lives. Really, I mean, it's like I, I know so many of you on a personal level, and I know that we all have lives. You know, so much um, that are so much uh, that are so vast and so different, and we're all so creative. And there's um, yes, um, we're M ears, we're we're, we're fellow Emmy YouTubers, and we stick together, and and all the hatred and negativity and and all the ME misconceptions, the top 10 ME misconceptions, in my opinion, are just, um, are, 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 com are complete bullshit. It's the only word I can think of. But, um, once again, I'm Steez, Steez Burger, uh, S-T-E-E-Z-B-R-R-G-R-R, -R -R, just like the sandwich. If you like my content, um, feel free to like, a thumbs up this video, subscribe, also if you like my content, and if you think that, um, I, ma I made any good points in this video. Um, comment down below. I would love some feedback and I would love if any of you guys have um, had any similar similar experiences with haters and trolls on your channels regarding any of the, uh, the top 10 uh, co most common uh, multiple experiencings uh, slash Mandela effects top 10 that I created for you guys. But um, I love you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. And um, I, until next time, I love you because I'm a Steez head and you're a Steez head. And this is the list, like, I'll, if you guys want to pause it and read it for yourselves, I know my handwriting is like a third grader's, but you know what? That's okay. It's a new year, and it's all about authenticity. I love you.